Hi everyone, my name is Vian and welcome to the channel Without a Wire where we talk about all things wireless home automation. In today's video I will show you how to swap out your old battery in your UPS when the old battery has become faulty and is no longer doing the job it should. And we will also explore some other troubleshooting techniques and problems you might pick up with your UPS. So let's get into it. So here we have three UPSs that we will be uh, switching out batteries for. This one here is a 200 VA and can handle a, a load of about 1200 watts. This one is a 1000 VA and can handle about 600 watts. And this one is a small one, it's a 850 VA and it can handle around 480 watts. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap out these uh, three batteries, or actually five batteries, because the, the 1000 VA and the 2000 VA will, will take two batteries. But I'm also going to do, I'm going to switch out the batteries from lead acid to gel. Because the advantages I'd like to test out between lead acid and gel uh, is that the gel batteries uh, has a better deep cycle charging. Um, there's no terminal corrosion on, on these ones. When I swapped out the UPS battery the other day, there was terrible corrosion on, on the negative uh, terminal. And uh, I actually had to clean the wires before I could install the new battery. The third one is that the gel batteries are less sensitive to overcharging than lead acid batteries. So I'm going to swap out all these three uh, UPSs and then I'll take you through some troubleshooting for when to replace batteries and what to do when your UPS is no longer working. So let's get started. Now that all the batteries are replaced, uh, let's see if they are powering back up. So let's start the 2000 VA first. There we go. Operating well with a full battery load. Let's test the one 1000 VA. And also switching on well with a full battery load. And let's test the small one, the 850 VA. Okay, so now that we swapped out batteries, on these UPSs. Um, let's take you through some troubleshooting. The reason why I swapped out my UPSs, uh, the batteries, uh, is that they, they show terrible degradation in the um, power support that they gave to the devices I had connected to them. Uh, the little 850VA died almost immediately when the power went out. The 1000VA uh, gave me about half an hour uh, backup where it used to give me almost two hours and the 2000 VA gave me only an hour where it used to give me a, about six hours of backup with the devices that I have connected to that UPS. So that showed that the batteries are end of life and they are not supporting the UPS as they should. That was the main reason for me swapping out the batteries. Another thing you should know about uh, troubleshooting your UPS when it's no longer supporting power and you replace the battery, but still no uh, improvement in performance, you might want to check out the little fuse 
here on the power supply. All the new UPSs will have a little fuse that sits right underneath the power supply. And if you open it there, it's a little 5 amp 250 volt fuse. If this fuse blew, uh, your UPS would only pass through power to your devices, but it would not charge the battery, which means that it would appear that the battery is faulty, but the battery is in fact not charging. So all you do is you re replace this little fuse which you can find uh, at your, your local hardware store or electronics store. They would have some of these. Be sure to take a sample with so you make sure you get the right size. And once you replace that little fuse, you would notice that your UPS would operate as normal. If you'd like to, to know where to get these uh, batteries from, I will have a pop-up in the screen right now. I got them from, from GWIS. They deliver quite good service. And uh, I've become quite a good customer of theirs over time. So check them out. You can find these batteries on their site and probably some of the fuses as well. If you like this video, please do the YouTube shuffle by liking the video, hitting subscribe and also the ding the bell so you get notifications when I release new content on this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.